Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and today we're going to be talking about Tesla turbines and we're going to be testing a CD design made out of regular compact discs that you record music on. What we've done is we've glued five compact discs together. In a previous video I showed you how compact discs and DVDs have a natural ridge that creates a very nice Tesla turbine blade. We've mounted this to a bearing so we have a nice rotation, there's no drag against it and it's uh, pretty well balanced and we're going to be running air through this. We're not going to be doing the entire Tesla turbine where the gas flows around the outside down and out through the center at this point. We're just going to be testing the airflow through this. A Tesla turbine takes advantage of something called the boundary layer effect. What this does is it causes drag against the surface and basically pushes it along without anything impeding its flow like a impeller blade. It's different than what an impeller would be. So since we don't have any spacers in here, washers, etc., to, to drag against the air. It's strictly going to be dragged along by the surfaces of these DVDs, CDs. We're going to be measuring the RPMs with this digital tachometer. It uses a laser beam to bounce off of a shiny solar surface, a reflective surface, back and it reads the RPMs. Now if you notice, anytime we do RPM tests, we paint the surface of whatever we're testing black. We do that because most metals are shiny. In the case of CDs or DVDs, they're extremely shiny. So if you just merely place a reflective strip on the shiny side and do your RPM test, you're going to have this giving you a reading and the entire surface of the CD or DVD, and you're going to get a false reading. This is going to read 5 to 10 revolutions per each one revolution. So 1,000 RPMs in actuality could read up to 10,000 or 20,000, so on. So by painting it black, it's only going to read the silver reflectiveness every time this comes around once. We're going to be doing this with just regular compressed air at about 80 psi just to see what we're going to have and uh, let's see what happens.
I advise you not to try this at home because I was not expecting this to go that fast actually. 12,000 RPMs is a lot faster than I thought it would actually get up to. One of these is 14.5 inches. That means at 12,000 RPMs, these CDs were traveling at 174,000 inches per minute. That means that if this was a wheel on the ground like that, and you could sustain that speed going forward, that power, it would be traveling at 174,000 inches per minute. That breaks down to 14,500 feet per minute, or 2.74 miles every minute, which equates to 164 miles an hour. So you can see why I don't want you to do this, because pieces flying off at 164 miles an hour can be very, very dangerous. In future tests, we're not going to be going for the high RPMs with this. We're going to be going for loads and seeing what it's capable of doing. We're going to build the complete Tesla turbine so the exhaust comes out the center, and we're going to see what it can do, maybe make a pump out of it too. Thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of our videos.